How's it going guys? Welcome on back to another episode. Um, as you can tell by the title, uh, we have another uh, unboxing to do. Um, this is the secret bait box from Outlet Bait and Tackle. Um, so I did the subscription and they suckered me in with some discounts so I ordered an extra treat for myself. So I got the secret bait box um, for a monthly subscription that they do. And then just that extra order that I put in for the discounts and had a, a sale going on like buy three get one free or something so um, yeah so I got the I ordered that stuff on Wednesday and it's Friday already got it so quick shipping on these guys that's one thing I did like about these secret bait bag boxes um, I used to have them before but I canceled the subscription in the fall um, I Stopped fishing and my focus went to whitetails, so I didn't really need to have like three or four subscriptions going. So I got back into it, see how it is. Um, I believe they sent me the May box, so that's a month ahead. I'm not sure why they did that. But, um, first, we're going to get into what I ordered, and then we'll get into that subscription box. So what I ordered was just a bunch of... Uh, for the most part, Obates, their uh, their craws. I like their craws actually, but I didn't. I only had like one color. I think it was white. So I do like the action on their craw baits. So I wanted to get some more of those. Um, and some colors that I use a lot. So first up is the uh, the Obates four inch. I think it's a verse craw. Um, it's a six pack. And that is, um, it just says crawdad on it, but it's, um, it's basically an Alabama craw. It's got the, uh, the green pumpkin and the orange on the other side. Um, I do really like the action on these. I love that color. Um, they do have a hollow, um, i try to get that on the camera. So this top part here is hollow. So you can either stick a rattle in there or what it'll do is um when you throw that that will catch an air bubble so when you jig it it'll actually release that air bubble so that's kind of a cool little nifty design um again i like the, the action on these cross and it's a great size and they're super super cheap and you get a good amount of cross so i like them um let's see what else so we got another pack of the craws. Um, this one's an Okeechobee craw. It's kind of dark in here. I'll pull one out for you. Okeechobee craw and also great color to use. Um, so you get that bright blue with the flake in it and on the back is like a, a green pumpkin. So I love throwing some Okeechobee craw against that same design with that little pocket, that hollow pocket with, that catches the air bubble. Um, then we have, oh, here's the Alabama Craw. So that one was Crawdad. So this one's the Alabama Craw. I mean, it looks pretty similar. I think the only difference is we got some fleck in there. See, it says that orange belly has some fleck in it and that green pumpkin back. So, yeah, Alabama Craw is awesome. The Crawdad, yeah, it's very similar, just doesn't have that fleck in it, so... This should do just about the same for catching the big ones. So, let's see. Again, um, so they had to buy three on these, get one free. So I got one in the, it's the Green Pumpkin June Bug. So I don't think I have anything on a Green Pumpkin June Bug uh, combination. So that's kind of cool. Uh, obviously, June Bug is an all around great color to use. So, wow, that's actually extremely nice. It's going to be hard to see in here because it's a little dark, but it's really got some nice violets in it. And then the green pumpkin. I'm going to try to adjust the light a little bit to see if I can get some better lighting on it. Yeah, that didn't help. Um, yeah, awesome. That's really, really cool. I mean, it's really got some vibrant purples in it with some red flakes, some, some blue flakes, some green flakes. With that, uh, the green pumpkin, I'm assuming, yep, the green pumpkin belly. So that's kind of, I like that a lot. I really like that color. I'm really pumped for that guy. I just gotta remember to 
take these things with me because I tend to get baits and then forget about them and end up not using them. Sorry, my life. So next up we have, um, I got some Z-Man um, TRD hogs. Um, I had one pack and just the uh, green pumpkin worked. Got me some smallmouth and some rock bass. So I wanted to get that um, in a couple different colors. I just got the elastic obviously for net rigging. Um, so I got a PB and J hogs. And let's see if I can flip around and get a better color on it. So that's just PB and J. Um, it's got a little green brown, some purples in it. And then I got black and blue. Need black and blue, obviously, for the darker, cloudy days. I like them because. I like the hogs actually because it kind of mimics a crawfish or maybe some sort of a, a, a bug larva. Um, but it's really, really subtle action with those antennas that just kind of barely twitch. So those are really cool to use. Um, next up, we have some more obates. Um, I should put them in a bag. It's interesting. So these are the uh, Parabug. So this is more of like a beaver style or a creek, nah, just a beaver style bait. Um, one, watermelon red. Um, all around great color. I'll pull that out for you. So it's a smaller beaver style bait actually. And smaller body on it. So this is going to be a really good jig trailer. It's going to have a little bit solid, more of a subtle action to it. Pull those claws apart. So it's just gonna kick lightly. And it's a really great um, size for a jig trailer, actually, so you don't have to cut it down or anything. So that's gonna be nice to have. Um, again, we got the, uh, the pear bug, and this is in a sunfish laminate. So let's pull that out. I'll show you the pack. It's an interesting color. So we got. Sunfish laminate. It's kind of like, almost looks like an Okeechobee craw, and then kind of like a green pumpkin-y color on the bottom side. So yeah, it's kind of like an Okeechobee craw color, just a lot more flash to it. It's got some silver fleck in it. And then, again, another uh, great jig trailer if you just need to downsize with the bass being a little bit more finicky, kind of getting short strikes on the pinchers. Downsize to a smaller size creature craw, and you got more of a chance to. Get that bass to fully take it. Um, and the last one here is the Sapphire Blue Parabug. So that's just a really, really bright blue. I won't even take that out because you can see that color. It's just really, really bright blue. A great, again, great jig trailer. So that's it for my order that I did. Um, so next up, we're going to get right into that bait box. Um, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's just because I signed up again. They uh, had me throw in some extras for free. So for, this is a, a bundle pack, I guess. Um, they used to just do like it in different tiers. So when I signed, I didn't see it on there when I looked back at it to sign back up. I didn't see any extra tiers. So it was just like the one box that they were offering. And they had me throw in some extra stuff, I guess. So we're gonna get right into that secret bait box. Move that out of the way. Okay. So first thing up that was an extra that they had me uh, toss in there is their obates. Um, let's see if I can get the lip on that. There we go. So that is a. Um, I think it's just a, a crankbait with a kind of a wider bill, kind of like a bigger square bill, but not quite a square bill. Um, so that's the chartreuse blue. It's a chaser. Um, that will see if it has the diving depth on it. I don't see a diving depth on it. Um, I'm assuming three to five feet. That's kind of the standard for something this size. So that'd be good for the river system. Um, Next, they had me do a little extra can koozie. I've gotten these in the past. Thought, why not? I mean, nothing wrong with the free koozie. Um, 
Now they have they sent me some Lunker Jack jerky. Some beef jerky. Bring it on the kayak for some protein snacks or the boat. Um, that is a uh, garlic pepper. So I like pepper, I like garlic. Um, next item that they had me throw in is this. Uh, let's see. So labeling's really weird. Huh? Lucky Strike. It's a three-quarter ounce uh, lipless crankbait. This is a um, Midnight Blue. So this is a really interesting lipless crankbait. It's really hard to see, but if you can see how fat that head is. It's a really rounded, fat head on it. So I'm assuming that's going to catch more water and give it more of a, maybe more of a wobble. I mean, usually with a lipless crankbait, you want it to be a tight wobble to get through the grass a little bit easier. So, I mean, I'll throw it around. It's a good color. It's a good shad color. It's got a good weight to it. It's got big knockers in it. So, big hooks on it. So, yeah. Those are, I think that's all I got for the extra stuff that they threw in there. Uh, so now we're going to get into supposed to be their bass box. Um, I'm already seeing something that's more of a crappie bait. Um, for whatever reason, they put it in this bag. So let's get right into that. Um, first up, we're going to go through that little crappie. Um, it's a Pro Series Boot Tail VMC Jig. Um, See, it's a one sixteenth ounce. Right. Lights really bad in here. So yeah, that's more of like a a panfish crappie jig, or possibly like something you could use ice fishing. It's just a small little boot tail um, swim bait on there on a jig head. Not necessarily a bass lure, but it'll catch them. Um, next up, I this one. Uh, I don't know if anybody's ever actually caught a fish on this lure. <clears throat> I see them at your local Walmarts and stuff. Um, if you guys have ever used them or caught something, let me know down in the comments. The most goofy looking frog you'll ever see. I mean, sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't even know if this thing is even going to have action on it when you walk it. So... Yeah, that's going to be a wall hanger. I got plenty of frogs that are actually uh, quality. So, uh, Next up, um, Baker Lures. This is, is this a shed? Um, throw that one up there for you guys. It's just a kind of a deeper diving crankbait and elongated. Yeah, I think it's just a crankbait. I don't know if that's a jerkbait or not, but I mean, it's a shad. Almost kind of has a bluegill look to it. I mean, it will work. It will work. And last we have, um, so this is Dockside Custom Baits. Never heard of them. That doesn't mean anything. Um, this is a hog missile. It's a three and a half inch. You see that? I'll actually probably open this up and show you guys. Yeah, cool. Um, it's just in a ruby color, so it's a, a hog style bait. You can throw that just regular Texas rig it with a uh, bullet weight on it, um, or cut it down, put it on a trailer. This is interesting. I don't know if those are supposed to be. No, okay. So the way that they had them, they uh, got like these little uh, strips here that just kind of pull off. I suppose you could leave them on because they got a little ball on the end there. And that might help with uh, the action on it, but it just kind of came right off. So, I mean, I mean, it looks alright. I'm not sure if I would... I mean, this time of year it should be a fine color to use. It's a red color. Um, yeah, so... That's it for this box. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever received these before. Uh, the secret bait box. It's a good value. Um, I usually get them because I throw on O baits and I throw on because I like their O baits. 
Um, I'm gonna throw on extra stuff like this. Um, I've gotten lanyards before, magnets, stuff like that. And it used to, I don't know what it is now. I don't know if they changed it, but it used to only be like $18 a month. And the, uh, the shipping is super, super quick on it. I don't know if it's just because I'm up here in Michigan and they're in Minnesota, like Minneapolis. If that's why it only took two days, but all in all, um, all right stuff. Not the best stuff, not the worst stuff, except for this frog. <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, you guys can check them out. It's um, outletbaitandtackle.com if you guys are interested in checking out their boxes or just their the tackle. Um, they do have, you know, name brand stuff on there like Z-Man. So I could not, I actually found these on that website and I could not find that any colors in the, the hogs that I was looking for, except for that website, so cool for that. Um, they do have, I don't think I've ever even thrown a Lucky, a lucky Craft. I've gotten them in boxes before, I just don't think I've ever taken them out of the package, so I might have to throw that lipless around here. And again, these uh, the Obate Crawls, I'm pretty stoked about. Um, and then the Xenon TVs. So, again, LLBaitTackle.com, not sponsored, just just another place to shop for tackle. Um, so, if you guys like the content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, leave a comment down below. And um, I do have six cents coming here in a couple of days. So, that's another video that will be coming out to you guys. And let's uh, see, we'll get some fishing in here shortly. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys on the next one.